Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Give me one. Give me two. Give me three. Bring it down. Ready. <laughs> okay. Hey, everybody. <laughs> nice to see you. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Um, right. It's your APs here to tell you what's up. Um, so, what's up? And we're going to talk real quick about a couple items we brought today. Dr. B was the winner last time again. He's 2 0 as far as I can tell. He's got the tiny trophy. I'm coming for it this time. Today, guys, I brought a meat snack. <laughs> it's awesome. a small Slim Jim. I would tell you, if you're stopping at a gas station on a road trip, don't sleep on the Slim Jim. Protein, right, a little spice in there. I'm not a chips guy. This will keep your hands clean, you won't be all greasy. Slim Jims, check them out. Sponsored by Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Do the people in the car also appreciate the meatiness yeah, in the car? The waft of the meat. Waft. Okay, yeah. so it's a, it's a gift Hot for everyone. Day. Yeah. Great, okay, well I'll go. Um, no meat stick for me, oh, sure. but I am wearing something. I have a three-year-old, uh, Hattie. She likes little things, and so she made this uh, little Cinderella beaded thing that I keep in my, my very small purse. Um, she likes Cinderella, that's like one of the first movies that she saw, so I thought I would just bring this. But she also probably would love a very small meat stick. So it's a combination, really. Very combo. Awesome. Very good. Yeah. So I have my um, emergency sarcophagus, <laughs> right? Uh, because Great. it was clearly made by the ancient, ancient Egyptians. Yeah. When you open it, it preserves candy really well. So whenever I am in a hurry and I have run through the candy in my emergency ostrich, I know that the candy in my emergency mummy will always be well kept thanks to ancient Egyptian strategies. And you know, it's always a nice reminder of you know, we owe it all to the Egyptians. Okay. Thank you for that. Thanks. That's great. Should we do some updates real quick? We probably should. I'm going to talk about parking. Get your parking pass. If you're a new driver, sophomores, if you've got your license, congratulations. Be safe. Um, just make sure that everybody who's coming to park on campus has their vehicle registered. We need to know who you are in case you park somewhere where we don't need you um, or if we need to find you for some reason. It is super easy to do. If you have an ASB card, your parking passes are free and you can get two of them. If you don't have an ASB card, it's only $5. You can do that at the ASB window anytime. So check it out, parking passes. Right, they're pretty cool looking too. Yeah, there's a yeah. Little, little bear on them. Yeah, and the money goes to ASB, so it goes back to Right back to you. Great, it's like a little investment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. All right, the thing that I wanted to remind you about was registration. So this is an opportunity, last day will be Friday, for you to enter in your course requests for next year. So this is a little plug for the counselors, and this is what happens when you don't choose, then the counselors will choose for you, which you really don't want. So take the time, look at the, the course description guide, have an understanding of what you need, make sure you go into Skyward and fill that out by this Friday. On Friday, at the end of the day, it will close. So I just wanted to remind you of that. Friday. 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 And I will talk to you about the tardy kiosk. So let's say that you are coming into the building a little late and you are used to coming to the attendance window and having to wait in line to get a pass. Well, now we have this very nifty little kiosk. And all you need really is your ID. And if you see your ID, it has this nice barcode. You can literally scan it, it gives you a ticket, and you are on your way to class. It takes less than a minute. If you forgot your ID, you can type in your number and same process. It really streamlines the whole process of tardiness and this is also a shout out for you to get an ID. If you lost your ID, come to the office for the next two weeks. We will be giving you a free ID if you lost yours so you can use it in tardy kiosk. Again, just this really nice Barcode, just scan it, and you're all set. Great. All right. So, so who, who won? Who won? I mean, I guess you all have to decide that, huh? We'll have to figure that out. Yeah. We'll Stay get back tuned. To you. Yeah. See you next time. All right. We'll see ya. Bye.
We at Poetry Club challenge every student at OHS to write a short poem in April. We will be distributing paint chips at both lunches from April 14th through the 29th. Write a haiku or couplet, two lines that rhyme, and we'll display them across from the attendance office. You can also get the paint chips from Ms. Gilman's room, 501, and in the library. As a bonus, use the name of the color in your poem. Hey guys, my name is Zach. And my name is Christine. And we're the class of 24 officers. And this Wednesday, April 20th, we're hosting an Olympia Panera Bread fundraiser. And make sure to come out with your friends and family. When you go, make sure to show them this flyer. We have this on our class account, and we will also have it somewhere here for you to screenshot. And let's make sure to get that bread. If you didn't get the chance to sign up for the ASB leadership class, you can still do so by Wednesday, March 20th by scanning this QR code or clicking on the link on the We Are Only Bears Instagram bio. If you have any questions at all, you can email Grace Clark at clarkte at students.osc.wednet.edu and we will adjust your schedule as necessary. So if you are any at all interested, just make sure to sign up. Happy birthday to Daisy Corwin, Tess Corwin, Ari Drott, Braden Griffith, Cole Moss, Noah Murdoch, and Sarah Wilson. And, and happy, happy National, National Garlic, Garlic Day. Day.